Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Have you ever been listening to music or watching a video and started to have a strange tingling feeling? Maybe you were watching a Bob Ross video and were overcome with a sense of relaxation as you watched him paint those happy little trees. Well, if you have, you might just have been experiencing a growing phenomenon known as ASMR. An Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR, is where a person experiences a static-like tingling sensation. This usually begins across the skull or neck and can move to other parts of the body, like the spine. Oh great, now I, now I feel like I'm describing a skeleton. Good thing Halloween is right around the corner. These sensations that Mr. Funny Bones here is feeling are the body's response to certain stimuli, like sights and sounds. Look how relaxed he is. You're not so spooky, little guy. But before we go any further, keep in mind that the ASMR field is so new that little has been scientifically studied. There wasn't even a term to describe it until 2010. Some scientists even wonder if ASMR is a real measurable thing. That being said, the anecdotal accounts for the phenomenon are practically endless. But more importantly, the first peer-reviewed research paper on the subject came out last year, so let's take a dive into what they learned. The researchers wanted to find the biggest triggers of an ASMR experience, and also explore to what degrees it could be used to ease symptoms of depression and chronic pain. They found that the biggest triggers were whispering, personal attention, and crisp sounds like the wrapping of metallic foil and the tapping of long fingernails. However, the sound of someone's laughter and the noise of a vacuum cleaner proved to be the worst triggers of the ones examined. See little noggin, humans don't like the sound of the evil mechanical monster either. Who's a good pixel puppy? On top of that, 80% of their participants said that their mood was improved due to ASMR. And there was even a significant difference between chronic pain symptoms before versus during a session. And while it fell a little short of being statistically significant, there might be a link between synesthesia and ASMR. Synesthesia occurs when two or more senses are attached to one another. The stimulation of one sensory pathway leads to an automatic experience with a second one. So someone could involuntarily link words with taste. And since synesthesia and ASMR both involve the senses, the idea that they're related sure makes, well, sense. But um, I know. Our brains are extraordinary organs that we've only begun to understand. This study is by no means where the research should end, but rather an opening expedition into the unexplored waters of such a curious topic. What are your thoughts on ASMR? Do you think it's real? Have you ever experienced it? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to learn why humans can hear things in the first place, make sure to check out this video here. To answer that, first we need to discuss the physics of a sound wave. These are longitudinal waves that travel through a medium, and therefore there is no sound in a vacuum like space. Sorry Star Wars, there's a link in the description if you're on mobile. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.